So the one I printed out, I have during the war, allies sent food and medical kits to help survivors. Each food kit helped eight people, put an eight in the blank on the handout, and each medicine kit helped six people. Each plane could carry no more than 50,000 pounds. Each food kit weighed 20 pounds, and each medicine kit weighed 10 pounds. In addition to the weight constraint on its cargo, each plane could carry a total volume of supplies that did not exceed 4,000 cubic feet. Each food kit was one cubic foot, and each medicine kit also had a volume of one cubic foot. Assume that those helped by medicine kits were not helped by the food kits and vice versa. What is the maximum number of people that could be helped with one plane of supplies? The questions on this handout are there to help you pull out from the problem the information you need. So the resources, this is the weight and the volume of the airplane, the, the weight that the airplane can hold, I'll write that, the weight that the airplane can hold and the volume that the airplane can hold. I don't know if can hold is the right phrase there, but <coughs> volume is space. If I talk about the space in this room, you know, if I fill the room with Packing peanuts. That takes the same amount of space as if I fill the room with bricks. But the weight of the packing peanuts and the weight of the bricks are totally different. The two products, these will be the things I'm going to ship. So we want to ship food kits and medicine kits. What are the recipes for the products? The recipes would be the things like how much does the food kit weigh and what's the volume that that kit takes up? So for the food kit, the food kit weighs 20 pounds and it is one cubic foot. The medicine kit weighs 10 pounds and it is one cubic foot. How many people are helped with each product? This is the objective function or, or it sets us up for writing the objective function. So the food kit helps eight people and the medicine kit helps six people. What are we being asked to find? On, on this problem, you are being asked to find the maximum number of people that can be helped, but really, Right here on the handout, I'm looking for also how many food kits to send, how many medicine kits to send. I will write that. How many food kits to send and how many medicine kits to send. so that we help the maximum number of people. Yes, okay. 
And you said, read it again? Yeah, just that last two weeks ago. That last, this part. Yeah. How many food kits to send and how many medicine kits to send so that we help the maximum number of people? Now, you're welcome. Thank you for that question. Um, this problem, ultimately, we type in how many people are helped. But what we need is all of this stuff, the, how many food kits, that's going to be X. I'm going to circle that, and I'm going to put X next to that. Let's see, I'll put it in the middle of it, just because I gotta figure out where to write it. How many medicine kits? That's gonna be Y. The maximum number of people? That's gonna come from the objective function. Z equals whatever. 